guys and welcome back to another brand new video i hope you're all doing okay so for today's video i am going to be showing you our room tour which i'm super excited about i honestly have been wanting to film this for you guys for so long and show you all as i know you've all wanted to see it um so yeah i am about to film it for you now i'm so excited i'm literally filming my intro a few days after i hope you really enjoyed my room tour don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and also comment down below what you think of my new bedroom i will try and link as much as i can down below in the description and let's get into the video obviously that used to be my bedroom here but now our bedroom i keep saying mine but i mean mine and Cam's room so you come up our stairs and the door is right in front of us so as you've all been waiting for so so long like i mentioned in the intro i'm just going to get straight into it so i just want to say we are getting another crystal door handle which we ha have got but callum hasn't put it on yet so we just have to deal with this one for now and then i'm going to open it up make sure it hits on there right so we're going to start this way and work our way around so the first thing you see when you walk in is my beautiful grey carpet with my lush faux fur um, white rug. I'm literally obsessed with it. It's so, so nice and looks so good against the grey carpet. And then obviously, like I said, I've got the door handle here that needs to go on here. Um, but yeah, it's not really like a major thing at the moment. And then again, I've just got these silver light switches and I also have them here as well. And we're trying to find some covers to go on here. Um, so, excuse my mess already. Honestly, I've bought a few bits from work. That's why it's still in the bag. So the first thing is my beautiful chair. Now this is the clear chair. I can't tell you where it's from, but just because I bought it from someone on Facebook and I have no idea where they got it from. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can get them from like Ikea or things like that. And then just to go over the top was this beautiful um, rug from the range. And this is in a beautiful blush pink color. And then I've just popped my cute pillow. That is from the card factory actually last year. It's their last year's stock. So I don't think they do it anymore. And it just says follow your dreams. And I think it looks so nice against this rug but honestly if you could feel how nice this rug is like it is the best thing ever so the rug was 12.99 but i will also link everything down below oh and i forgot to mention my bin which has some rubbish in it which is disgusting i need to empty that um but the bin was from home bargains and i think that was 1.99 which is so good because the bin is actually a really decent size um but yeah so this is like my makeup area so obviously i've got the bin i've got my chair and then i've got my beautiful which you've all seen before my beautiful five drawer alex drawers and there's my cat but i'm literally obsessed with these they do all need sorting out inside because it's not organized properly but then i've just got a really like bougie worktop here so i've got my two favorite perfumes here which is the Olympia perfume and my Lady Million perfume. I thought those looked super cute on there. And then I've got my new light up LED mirror that I got for my birthday, which you would have seen in a previous video. And it just lights up like this. So I have a mirror to do my makeup. I have a pot full of all my eye brushes. This pot was actually from Poundland and it is in fact a pen pot, but how cute does it look with some makeup brushes in? And then I kept this print that says but first makeup which was obviously on my wall in my old bedroom um which will probably go up again eventually but i need to get some new prints because i didn't like the other ones and then i've just got my nyx bear with me um little cup thing just because it's makeup related and i thought it would look cute there so this is honestly my favorite part of my bedroom i personally think obviously it's not Cam's favorite because that's not really his area um but yeah i literally love it it's so nice just the rug does it for me it's so so pretty um but yeah so that's that right next to my makeup drawers is my double wardrobe so i was a bit silly and did not order handles for the wardrobe so we have got some we just need to drill holes into the wardrobe but at the moment i'm having to 
reach up at the top so I'll just show you so this is one that I made myself from Ikea so you had to buy everything separate so the each door was separate I think each door cost 25 pounds the rail was like 10 pounds the baskets each were 10 pounds yeah it's just it was mad but it is worth it like it is worth it so I've just hung all of like my dressing gowns my fluffy bits I need to sort all of this out um I don't think I'm gonna I'm just gonna buy everything new just because where I've lost weight and things I need to buy new clothing anyway um excuse the state of this it's not organized properly at all I literally didn't realize that I wouldn't have a lot of space for my stuff because my old wardrobe actually had shelving units in the other side of my wardrobe. Uh, the shelf here I had to buy separate as well, which was, I think, £10. And then I've got these really nice baskets, which I've always wanted these in my wardrobe. So I've literally got my loungewear stuff in the top drawer. And then I've got my jeans, leggings, my MacBook, my charger in this drawer. Um, and then on the very bottom, I've got two little handbags here. And then my climb shoes all at the back of the wardrobe as well. And then the doors are soft closing ones so you can slam it as much as you like and it won't make a bang noise either. Next thing is our amazing wallpaper. So this is from ilovewallpaper.com so it's an online site, it's not actually a shop. And this is the soft grey Zara Metallic I think. Um, I'll go up a bit closer. We literally love this wallpaper so much. Like it turns different greys in different lightings, which we love. Um, so I actually wanted to go for the pink one, but in the end, we both wanted to go for the grey just because it suits us a bit better. And plus pink wouldn't look great for Callum. Although we have got a bit of um, pink in the room as Callum agreed on it. Um, but here is our double bed. This is actually a three quarter bed. Again, I can't remember where we got this bed from because I've had it for so long. Um, I've just got this really nice throw over on the bottom of our bed, which is from B&M. Um, then my amazing marble duvet set, which is a bit creased because I've just been sat on it. Um, obviously this is from B&M. I got this for my birthday. This was 15 pounds for a double. And then I've got two of these pink pillows here, which are also from b and and they're £5.99, which you would have seen in my previous video. Um, and then these little pom-pom pillows, which I've actually gone flat now, um, so I need to buy some new ones. These are from Primark, and I think they were £3.00. And then I've just got my little pug pillow here and then my little teddy bear that I've been sleeping with because I don't know about anyone else, but it's been so cold in the evening. So it's a little microwavable one um, and he just normally sits there. This is Callum's side of the bedroom. So we just have my two um, drawer bedside tables. Again, those are from Ikea. I actually keep all of my pants, socks, bras and things like that in there. And then I have a candle plate here which is i don't put candles on i just have it for decoration um i have a wax melt burner callum's aftershave this side his watch you can tell this is callum's side just because everything's just everywhere um i also have my bedside lamp as well which is crushed velvet which is from b&m my whole bedroom's b&m and i'm living for it it's so so good um so yeah that is everything for the bedside and then you can tell this is Callum's side like honestly and then coming to the window so these beautiful grey curtains I honestly cannot remember where they're from these curtain backs are they curtain backs something like that the curtain backs and the rail this was actually meant to be my mum and dad's rail but my dad ended up giving it to us which I was not happy about because mum bought it for them um but anyway and then these curtain backs are from B&M again as always everyone loves a good B&M um then coming to the window sill we have a few little props in the window so this is from B&M it's just a candle holder here and it looks really cute when it's the evening a candle tea light is in there and the diamonds just shine and then I have my plant which I showed you all in my last video which I actually got for free so I'm actually buzzing about that 
and then again i showed you this photo frame from b&m as well which was two pounds and then i've got this cute oh oh that's a bit sticky got this cute little photo in there of me and callum until i get a bit of a better one that we both like and then this is from B&M. I got it for my birthday last year. It just has all of my jewellery in, which I don't even wear, so I don't know why I've got it in there. Um, and it's the wrong colour because I have rose gold in this room, not actual gold. Um, but it will do for now. And then this cute little pug, which is all glittery. And this is from HomeSense. I actually got this for Christmas from Caleb's mum. Um... Anyone who knows me knows I'm obsessed with pugs. And this pug is just unreal. So sparkly. So he just has a little place in the window. So yeah, that is the window sill. I'm very happy with it actually. Looked really nice. Um, I'm really sorry about the lighting. It's probably because I'm near the window. So yeah, that is the window. There's Callum down there. Should we knock? Hi! <laughs> And then, so that's the window. And then moving over to the far side where the door is. We have Callum's drawers and my drawers. I don't know if you can tell a bit of a difference, but Callum's looks a bit more yellow and mine are more white. That's because Callum accidentally picked up the matte ones and I've got the high gloss ones. But it's really not a problem. Um, you can't, can't really tell, to be fair. The only difference that you can tell is the bottom bit so this is like closed it all in and then mine goes like further back so i don't know if they've actually changed the design either on the ikea drawers i have no idea um but they fit perfect in here they fit nicely along this back wall um so he just has his xbox headphones his xbox there his huge tv that i've been going on about honestly it is humongous like it's unreal i'm going to be filming a bit later on um when it gets dark because we've put the led lights at the back and they look so good and then on top we just have my mirrored um look he's got stuff over that already um my mirrored coasters i had a sweet charm which was full of pink sweets but oh my god brilliant which was full of pink sweets, but you know, me and Callum's at them all. It's quite deadly having a sweet jar in your bedroom. And then I just have this really nice gin and strawberry scented candle, which smells unreal. And I've been lighting it every morning, every night. So I'm very impressed with that. I have a random screw here, which I have no idea what it's for. And then I have this really cute photo of me and Callum his mum got me this for my birthday it's actually metal which I think is so cool because then it doesn't like get scratched the da the photo doesn't get damaged or anything I think it's so cute so it literally just looks like this but I'm so obsessed with it and it looks so nice as like we're sat here in bed and we can just see it here next to the tv it's so nice so yeah literally love that the final part of our bedroom is my beautiful mirror that i bought through lockdown um this was from the range this was 79.99 i think so 80 pounds um but i literally love it so much so sparkly has beautiful diamonds and makes my room literally look humongous like it literally looks so big and then we're back to the door again with my rug if this camera wants to focus any time today um but yeah that is our room tour
Okay, so obviously I said I would show you what it looks like at night with the lights behind the TV. Um, definitely worth £8 and they fit perfectly. You also get like a remote control which you obviously can't see because it's too dark. Um, and we've got a cute little candle going. But you can change it all to different colours. We like the blue one if it wants to work. <laughs> Why won't it work? Not close enough. <laughs> Callum's gonna try it. You have to move a bit closer. It plays up sometimes. Oh, there's a green. Oh, yeah, that looks quite cool. Um, we're just there. We go. This is our favourite colour that we like to have on at night. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you 